Hello and welcome to my channel. Well, this is one knife pattern that um, maybe you, you've seen people use or you don't use at all because the main chores that it's used for or work or whatever it's used for, you don't do anymore or you used to do. Um, but if you haven't figured it out by now, it's called the hawk bill because it kind of looks, you know, like a hawk. Don't don't do what I almost did, and uh, it comes down to a point. It's different than quit this, quit your bouncing. It's different than a, a half hawk, which is basically a sheep's foot. This one almost has got a little up curve to it. Uh, now you can get the kind of like the best of both worlds here with the right edge because it's got a little hawk bill to it. Quit bouncing. And it's got a combo blade here. It's got a little pointy, stabby blade. A couple little versions of wire stripping type of thing. So this would make a good, you know, kind of like electrician's knife because this is good for a cable a lot of times. You could roll around and cut the jacket off of cable without nicking that's a trick without nicking the uh usually copper or wire or whatever uh inner conductor you know but i thought it would be good to you know show some different examples of it and it's also available in Ram horn. See right here. And then it talks about marbles here, you know, which has been around a long time. And you can catch cancer if you're in California. It's made in China. It used to be made in the USA. This used to be their factory. That's probably been demolished and turned into house of ill repute where illegal things go on so we had to demolish it these have all been slaughtered now you see that ram's horn you know is either harvested you know after they die this takes a while to deteriorate maybe harvested wild or it might be you know probably is just a byproduct of domestic whatever they do with rams nowadays um, but because this is natural, that's why we naturally have an earthquake going on. Let me straighten this camera. Quit that. Maybe I won't bounce into it so much. This side is pretty good. You know, with the, the natural look to it. This is good also. Sometimes you don't always get that. Sometimes this side might be really light. And... This side might be really dark, or they might both be light, or they might almost both be, like, translucent. You just never know, you know, with natural material. But this is pretty good. Ram horn. Now, this is kind of soft but here right now. Going from here to here, this is kind of soft, but it does have a half stop. You've got frosting, and if you look closely at it, it's got the little ram horn coming out. Eh, that's pretty cool. Match strike nail um, pull, but you, I usually grab them over here. You've got enough room. And this is also, if it, if it kind of mushes like that and everything looks nice, then that's usually because inside here, let's see if I can get it to focus. I'm trying to get it to focus. Inside here is usually got something. I haven't looked at it. But yeah, you can see where it, it could use some oil. And you just work that oil back and forth and run a Q-tip or a kind of, I want to put some that KPLC. It's already getting better. Sometimes it, could, it just needs to be worn in. A lot of times what's happening is they're polishing the knife. And uh, the polishing compound. See, this is where your half stop comes in right there and you can see that's what makes it kind of mushy if you take that off and this is a lockup position but anyways 
<laughs> looking at it real closely and everything, this is pretty good. Now you've got it in the closed position, you've got the spring sticking up. But remember, this is not a GC, you know. I mean, this is not a... GC is not the only one that does highly made quality type stuff, you know. There's other manufacturers, but I'm just using that as an example. Um, it's to one side a little bit, but this is where you do your nail. And let's see if it's doing any scraping. A lot of times you can look in here and say, I don't see any. And then you can look on the blade. This frosting lasts quite a while before it starts showing up where you've got a pretty sharp angle on here and over here now this one's going to be a giveaway knife now the way i do it is you know you've got to usually use some kind of like secret word if you want to be in it and it's usually limited to uh, what i call lower 48 states just because of shipping and laws and everything else well i've thought of something about the laws that we can sidestep now i i won't be able to send you a knife but i will be able to send you a sticker and if you win it's going to be something like paypal or postal money order or something like that so this particular giveaway is going to be open to Anybody that can receive mail. Um, you will have to, I will have to verify your mailing address. And the, usually the best way to verify your mailing address is to either take a photograph of, of your, you know, mail that you receive. Because a lot of people forget stuff, especially overseas. You forget how it's written down in here. It's different for us. We have a certain way of doing it. And if we don't see it that way or ever, it can be confusing or... Vital information could be left out. So, if you do it that way, that, that will help. But anyways, we can't do p pictures, you know, in, in this particular giveaway. But I'm just saying you know, that when we go to verify the winner, if it happens to be that way, um, it'll be an uh, overseas thing. And I'll open it up this time. I can't do it every time. And if, if nobody from overseas wins, I call it overseas, but, you know, Canada be could could be considered overseas if nobody wins from overseas this time then we'll continue to give this stuff away until somebody from overseas does win and then I, it's usually i think maybe once a year i can do this you know and the giveaway like i said will be around forty dollars so that should be enough for you to get some kind of traditional knife and anybody who says well you know the other one's these are normally around $15 or something like that. And yeah, that's because of my members and everything else. But usually there's a lot more than $15 going there. And people in the lower 48 get to enter in every month. These people, you know, can make a comment or something like that. But usually they don't get to participate like everybody else. And I have sent knives overseas and stuff before. But that's before they started season stuff and even taking... If the word, you've got to describe it accurately. If the word knife is even in the description, they'll open up the package and just either delay it or completely take it. And it's up to the person that's on the receiving end uh, to get it back. And sometimes it costs them a lot of money and stuff like this. So this way, like I said, PayPal's probably easiest because I can send it like friends and family and you don't get... They don't get to take a huge chunk out of it and stuff like that. And it can be transacted right away, you know. Um, the mail is a little bit riskier, especially if you try to send cash. So, And then you have to worry about conversion and all other stuff. But one way or another, we'll try to work that out if that comes down to it. Now, the way I do it is you leave a comment if you want to, you know, be in on it. And that's not just this knife. I'll show all the other stuff later. But, I mean... I wanted to get this out of the way before it gets too long. And this is for July. We still have um, an August drawing to do. And I want to show you, this is not in the giveaway, but I want to show you what I got for my own. See, look at that. Uh, I like, 
I like this because it goes along with what we're talking about, you know. And you have the different... You have a big area right here where you can uh, display a lot of colors and stuff. Like if you... If you wanted to just try different handle materials, you can go with a tiny, you know, or a small toothpick. You don't get as big of an area, but you get an example kind of what it would be. That can work for or against your advantage. You know, like anything that uses a lot of metal and stuff like this is going to be a little bit heavier. Um, but I think this turned out very well. I just got, you know, it comes in the stoneworks, you know, magnetic kind of bouncing magnetic box and everything else so that's cool because like i said i i this is a very useful pattern for doing things like gardening but i mean it could be good for rope and a lot of other stuff so there you go now our magic word is going to be computer if you put computer anywhere in there then I'll consider you as, you know, entering in this. And yeah, I'm using a random comment picker and stuff like that. We can do it different ways if we want. The main thing, see, like I said, when, when I was doing lock sport, the main thing, way we figured out to weed it out was we would have somebody demonstrate picking a lock. <laughs> so it's kind of hard to fake that. I mean, it could be done, but still, it, it, it weeded out the people that just come in for giveaways now if you just base it on people that comment sometimes people don't comment very much and this is kind of like drawing out on, on like people that comment because we want you to you know not just enjoy nice and look nice but you know talk to other people and other channels and stuff about about knives you know and then it, it'll be more enjoyable a lot of times if you can share you know, your experiences and your enjoyment with knives. And who knows, you might start your own channel one day and, and you'll find out all the ups and downs of having your own channel. But anyway, that's what's going to happen for this one. Like I said, I'm going to open up for a week and this is not in it again. And the magic word we already know. And um, at the end of that time, we'll, we'll draw a winner. And like I said... If you're going after shapes, it doesn't always have to be expensive. Now, this one here, I got it mainly because it has that, you know, metal waffle hand pander and everything. And uh, it's got a lock on it. But this one was only like $9 or $6. It was less than $10. The problem with it was when it closed when I got it, this was sticking up about like that. With it closed all the way. I mean, you know... That'll get you. So, what I did was, I filed this kick down a little bit and caused it to drop. So now it drops. And then I also checked, it's, it's not the snap down real good, you know, but I also checked that when that happened, that it's not hitting, like right here, anywhere on the blade and causing it, because you can get too low and you can cause a little ding there, you know, for that. But because... A combination of this slowing down on its own anyway you can't really snap it down super hard and you can also do this you know that's a disadvantage you can do this you can get this in the way which also falls into that and you may think oh I've got I'm getting blade wrap right here it must be the I need to file that down no you just need to watch out for this bail here and keep it out of the way when you close your blade so there you go just a little short one there. Like I said, you can get whatever handle material. This one was originally white bone. This is, you know, this right edge is made out of wood. I've got, or the, not this right edge. This is a saber made out of wood made in Japan. You know, the little curve locks up pretty well. And again, you know, they didn't care about fit and finish, but this is not bad for one from back then this is the model 645 and those are in can be inexpensive sometimes people can go crazy and try to ask too much these are made in china i believe or pakistan china 
and uh, relatively inexpensive. So there you go. There's some options. There's some different ones. Um, some other, what I like about Rough Rider and some of these other ones is these type of patterns are available all the time. They're not considered a vault pattern, which I can understand for collectors. It's, you know, oh, this is good because it's, you know, limited run, limited availability. But hey, Sometimes when you, you know, are into collecting traditional knives, you want to collect a bunch of different ones, though, and you don't want to wait 10, 20 years or whatever it is until the vault cracks back open, you know. Um, so there are other options out there. And, of course, you know, you may look at this and say, oh, you know, I don't, I don't do gardening, I don't do this. As an investment, a lot of times, these just because not as many people like them or or they weren't offered as much sometimes, these go up in price because they're harder to get later on, just because people thought they were disposable common or whatever. It depends on how many are available still now. You know, like I said, you know, they could make trillions of these things. And then the value, of course, would go down because no matter what happened, there, there may be like, new old stock ones version uh, available and so you can't command a super high price on something even if it's not regularly available this one's in pretty good shape i think i got this one off ebay mm, there went your finger <laughs> but yeah these are cool so anyways there you go good luck at everyone and sorry for taking so long doing this, but, you know, that's, that's the way things go. I blame it on the dinosaurs. It's all their fault. But they were learning computer. How to speak like a computer in 10 easy lessons. They were taking one of those. I think Peppy started that. And, um, yeah, good luck, everyone. Like I said, uh, later on, I'll show you all the other goodies going. go in. There's going to be, if it's in America, there'll be flashlights and... Um, dinosaurs and all this other stuff. If it's overseas, again, it's just going to be like the money order, maybe stick anything that's like weighs less than an ounce that I could mail to you, besides, you know, the the moolah. And if you uh, win overseas, I, I would hope, again, like the, I said, that you use it for something knife related, but you don't have to. You know, it's winnings, it's whatever you want to do with it. And if you've never won before and you've been silent and everything, well, speak up, you know, talk. Oh, also, look at this. I almost threw this away. I ordered these. Now, this was from Chicago, so Knife Works, where I got this order. So I didn't get a whole lot of things, but I ordered these a little bit. They were like 51 cents. So I was only going to get one. I thought, you know, you might have to get two for that price. It's only a dollar. So the difference between this is usually I improvise and make something like this and now I can just replace you know for for cheap for inexpensive because all you got to do is peen it down on there and you got yourself up to that size you know it's a small one it's not going to be for a huge you know wide multi-layer one so thank you for watching and have a nice day